a hokey dokey mad monster pal so i posted these to my instagram and had some people asking about them so let's talk about it these are the monster 500 cars and there are 10 in series one this is zoom zombie and he drives a pretty cool old school cadillac hearse he's a neat dude but all of them are done in a pretty rat fink style where the figure is far larger than the card that it comes in and each one of them I think there's four or five of the different sections of cars I think they truly expected to have a series two um, but this is team driving the dead and you'll look in the top right corner of all the cards there's always a little scanner code where you could go online and participate in these games and they were actually pretty fun if they still work I would be surprised but I would totally recommend getting these if you haven't already. But you can see Series 1, we've got Zoom Zombie, Leadfoot, Flattop Frank, Clown Evil, and Crockpot, which is kind of funny. But I've got most of these on the cards. I think I have all of them but one on the card just because the card actually fell apart. I still have it, but it fell apart on me. The clamshell came apart. See how this one's trying to on me? Not their fault. They just probably never expected to be kept on the card. I knew as soon as I saw these, I was like, oh no, they're going to make something awesome and they're going to take it away from me. And that's why I bought them all. But this one's from a series called Lunatic Legends. So there's Leadfoot. And then here's Flattop Frank. You'll see more of him later when we start playing with the actual play sets because he actually goes down the course pretty well. But he's pretty handsome. Who else do we have? <laughs> All right. So we've got Clown Evil. And he's pretty fun. No specific uh, clown reference. Just a big green scary clown. And they really did pimp this app store playing the game thing. Maybe it still exists on there. I'll have to check that out. What else do we got? We've got good old Mr. Crockpot. We've got, ah, the one that is loose, we'll talk about in a second. But we've also got Captain Heinous from Uranus. Fantastic. Not sure who called in this guy, but the pun department sure knocked it out of the park on that. That's funny. Let's see. Oh no! And you can see this is the other half of the series. So we've got Drac Attack. Captain Hain is from Uranus. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We've got Turbo Chainsaw Maverick. And we've got Werewolf Blitzer. Mm -hmm. But they're certainly really well detailed. And you can tell they really went into some time to break them down into these different categories. They must have really thought that people would continue to buy them. I certainly would have. I even emailed the company and asked about Series 2 whenever they took Toys R Us away from us. But here's this guy. There's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Ride. Turbo Chainsaw Maverick. Kind of a Jason Leatherfacey Hills Have Eyesy inspired guy. And then the last one. I'm not sure who was in the pun department that day, but good for them. Werewolf Blitzer. And he's certainly handsome. And then Drac Attack, like I said, he came off of his cards. So let's show him to you guys. He's pretty cool. Hello to you, little man. And of course, he rides in a little coffin. Because why wouldn't he? Two thousand and what's that say? Two thousand and thirteen does not seem that long ago to me, but I guess it is. Um, you can see a fair amount of detail in the sculpt, good shading, nice detail in the box itself. It actually looks like wood, and they gave him little uh, accents to make him even more detailed. So let's get some of these guys going down the track, shall we? Okie dokie mad monster fans. So I've got two toys today that I'm going to be talking about definitely related Beefcakes New corners got to use Anywho uh, The first one that we're going to talk about is the toxic terror trap and it 
really focuses on the freak force. I don't know if you guys even heard of these when they came out, but Monster 500 was this really interesting concept that was put out by Toys R Us a few years before it shut down. And it had a lot of interactive things that you could do, like inside with each of the cards uh, that came with the toy, you could go online and it had an animation and a ton of things that you could do on the website. Scannable codes so that it was interactive for kids, not only beef cakes lordy mighty um not only for them to use while playing with the toy but when they walked away from it and were back on a computer or something they had things to do as well so this one's more of like an interactive hot wheels play set where you actually go from the peak of this toxic meltdown over here this is more just a drag race that you actually attach to the side of a table hence my setup here it's kind of different than what we typically do but you can see there's a variety of different cars you could use. The instructions they came with were specific enough, but you know me, I'm not necessarily that mindset when it comes to putting stuff together. I normally just look at the picture and figure it out. Why am I this kid? Lordy mercy. But this has been a pretty interesting experience for me because when I buy monster toys, sometimes I buy them to... There we go. Sometimes I buy them just to look at and hang on my wall. These I actually bought to play with and the boxes aren't particularly cherry because I think I bought them from someone right after they sold in the store. So let's check it out. All right, so currently I have set up the toxic terror trap as well as the graveyard gauntlet. Is that your graveyard gauntlet, big girl? Yes, it is. All right. So if you come over here, we'll turn on our little monster man. By the way, instructions for this, not that helpful. So your little mutant goes from side to side. And he makes a choice of whether you get to burst through the door or get eaten by the swamp monster. And then you load your little man We've got Flat Top Frank in there. All right, that's enough of that back sass. We've got Flat Top Frank in there, and he's supposed to ride up this little chute after I push down this mutant man, go down the swirly swirly, bust through the gate, and then down here to his potential demise. So let's see if that works out for us. Obviously not, but that's okay. We'll keep going. Yay! Ho ho! And that's what one can come to expect. Oh, look, he got me! Hey, stop it. Okay, so the biggest con of the entire system is this stupid thing. I don't know who thought. Hmm, I'm going to put a spring-loaded thing in here that has to be able to... That's now locked in place. It has to travel up here, but this is my point of connection. There's nothing flush about that. So every single car I've loaded into this, you guys, hasn't performed. I've had to put it in by hand. Now, if this elevator part of it wasn't supposed to be like, Oh, I'm a child. A lovely child. I'm going to roll my car into the thing. Boom. Okay, so we're there. And again. Trash! But that's okay. We'll give him a boost. We'll turn on our dude. That way he has a choice of life or death. And then... Go, little clown man. Blah! Yum, 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 yum. So, hey! Charming. So... For all intents and purposes, it's super cool. It's just the elevator system is not practical at all. So let's talk about the gauntlet. So it works like this. They give you a fair number of pieces of track. You go down the track, past the beautiful boo cat. Oh, you're an obstacle. And then you come down here to the end. And, it and you end up down here. 
Now, locked into place are your finishing flags. You see them as bones at the bottom, but if you look at the back, we've got two little flags that are gonna drop down and tell us who the winner is. So, you look from here up to the table. I imagine that's rather impressive. It is, I can see it now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna load a couple cars in there and we're gonna see who wins. And apparently his little eyes bug out and the flag flips up. Now this little piece here, this is like a game changer. On the video, it shows like two kids playing together, thus insinuating I have friends. <laughs> but since that's not uh, the case, the child's supposed to spin this and then the little gauntlet makes a choice as to whose car gets to go through but for the sake of this video I'm just going to pose it up and out of the way so you can see how the cars actually finish. Okay so we're gonna go up here and let's see who would make a good drag race. Let's take our graveyard ghoul and we'll take Dracula So, they're all loaded in here, and it instructs that I give this a formal whack, and then they'll go down to the end. You are just so excited about this, aren't you? I know. Well, come on, boys, if you think you're hard enough. Boom! Who won? Oh! Looks like Dracula won. Very nice. Was that great? Was that the best thing you've ever seen? I'm glad. I liked it too. I just wanted to take an additional second to show you, like, say, if you're this person on the end here and you're watching to see who wins. If little Dracula comes down the chute, dun, 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 and he bumps that peg right there, Ta-da! He's the winner! Winner, winner, winner! Pretty great. Dracula's always a winner. So overall, I would say that the gauntlet is probably a little bit more fun simply because you don't have the frustration of the elevator. But that pendulum is equivalently frustrating if you're playing with yourself. So, um probably why more people didn't buy them i'm not sure but overall uh, i really enjoy the vehicles themselves they even came in larger versions there were versions that were about six to eight inches tall and they only made like two or three of them i think they made frankenstein dracula and bigfoot and i didn't buy any of those simply because as you guys can see my house ha <laughs> has some stuff in it already but if you like this video and you like hearing me talk and play with my toys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. And I will see you boys and ghouls later. Isn't that right, big girl? We'll see our friends later. <laughs> Thanks, guys.